Yeah, just uh, uh, really, really proud of our guys, our, our, our toughness, uh, our, our growth. Uh, early in the year, uh, we, we couldn't make in-game adjustments just because we've got so many first-year guys. And, uh, but, you know, their defense is different. I said it uh, leading into the game. Their length on the perimeter and their switching makes it really hard to pass the ball. Uh, we tried to make some adjustments during the game, and, and give you guys credit, they, they understood the adjustments. And uh, and then at the bottom line, we started defending. We didn't defend the first 10 minutes of the game. And we started defending and rebounding the ball, and that's our bread and butter, and they gave us a chance. James, just what was going on? What was, what was kind of your thought process going on in your head when you're on that 8 0 run by yourself to give y'all the lead? Um, I, I honestly was just, uh, you know, out there playing hard. You know, just uh, running, doing what I do. Uh, coaches always tell me to, uh, you know, shoot it when I'm open, and I kind of hold back from that. You know, my teammates, you know, just found me. You know, I just started playing real hard, and the ball just ended up in my hands and going in the basket for me. Uh, Devin, it looks like you really came into your own at the end of the first half, uh, at the end of the game as, as well. What was it like just going up against the Florida State defense, how tall they are, their size, and just how did you go about finding ways to score to make an impact? Uh, you know, we just, I feel like we had a good preparation for uh, this game, you know, talking about their size and switches, and my teammates just put their trust in me to uh, make plays, and uh, that's what happened. Yeah, Devin, you had the ball a lot at the end of the game. Um, what were your emotions like then? Were you, were you comfortable? What, what were you feeling those last couple of minutes? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. You know, I, uh, I love to have the ball in my hands at the end of the game. You know, everybody trusts me, and I can't let my teammates down. So, you know, I don't really feel pressure like that when it comes to those moments. For both of you guys, just what can a win like this against obviously a name brand like Florida State do for team morale and just the momentum moving forward? And you guys believe a lot of what y'all are, but just what can a win like this do for y'all? Um, uh, th this win right here, I honestly, you know, feel like this can be like the uh, turning point, you know, to our season. You know, we took a, a tough one at uh, Coastal, responded with Georgetown, and responded with this one. <clears throat> but this one specifically, uh, Florida State is a great team, and I feel like this uh, this can be like the you know, to change our season, uh, you know, just to, no looking back from this point on. Yeah, James, early, early on in the game, it didn't seem like y'all could get any, any shots off. Y'all had the two breakaways uh, right out of uh, inbounds passes. But what, what was going on offensively in the first half? Uh, you know, like like Coach said, we just we got a lot of new guys, and you know, we just, you know, sometimes we just we just move a little too fast. Like we know what we want to do, or we know what we have to do. You know, but sometimes, you know, we just, you know, move a little too fast. Uh, you know, we was trying to figure out their defense, but, you know, once we settled down, uh, you know, and uh, David Carter, you know, got the ball, <clears throat> you know, things started to slow down for us, and, you know, he made plays for us down the stretch and got us going. Uh, you just mentioned your teammate there, Devin Carter. I mean, what, what does it say about him, especially as a freshman, you know, that he was able to do what he did out there? <laughs> man, 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 honestly, I want the ball in Devin's hands at the end of the game because, you know, I mean, like this type of game is his game's aggressive, you know, the team's aggressive, big, you know, Devin Carter, you know, every game, you know, that we played in this big game, you know, he was one of the ones to step up. So this is his type of game. So I wasn't surprised at all. One more for the players. What was going on? What was going with y'all's heads on that final possession of Florida State? How would you see there? How relieved were you guys to see that one? I mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know, we was a little nervous because I mean, you know, number ten uh, is a great three point shooter, uh, but you know, I mean, all, only thing that was going through our mind was a stop, you know, and uh, at that point when the ball went off his hands, <clears throat> we couldn't do nothing, you know, just find the man, box out, hopefully he come off, you know. Playing a lot of the second half, when when did you think about doing that? Was that in preparation and what made it work so well? Yeah, that was part of the plan. Uh, coming into the game, uh, uh, their 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 size on the perimeter, their uh, their ball screen offense, their spacing um, uh, was going to attack us. And then when we got a little foul trouble early in the game, uh, I went to it. But I, my plan was to go to it eventually. And I don't usually stay in a zone that long, but I thought that we we got them to stop being aggressive. I thought about Florida State. Uh, Got them a little passive, and uh, um, and and it gave us life. So I stayed in, and I milked that thing to the end of the game there. And then, you know, then we went man, because then they went to, they basically had five guards in the game. Because number ten, even though he's six eight, six nine, you know, he plays on the perimeter, and um, so that's 
So when they when they went to those five guards out there, they started spreading our zone out a lot and getting it inside. And then they got some looks, and uh, so we went man late again. But uh, uh, that was that was part of the mindset coming into. Right. What does it say about this team? You guys only shot twenty free throws, made ten of them. Eric Stevenson didn't have a great shooting day today. What's it say about this team to be able to win these kinds of games where you don't have all these? It's, it's fun to be around. Uh, you know, team where, you know, it's a bunch of selfless guys. You know, Eric didn't play great today. He was best coach on the sideline today. I mean, he was just running timeouts. He was, he was like incredible on the sideline. Uh, his joy, his enthusiasm for winning, uh, for, for helping his teammates is, is, is unbelievable. He wasn't good today. He you knows. He tried hard, but he, he didn't play well. Um, uh, but that's, it's, uh, it's, it's fun to be around these guys from, you know, they're, they're selfless, man. They want to win. They, 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 they try to do what you ask them to do. You know, Jacoby is battling his tail off playing fifth-year seniors, you know, and, um, you know, and, and Devin's just, you know, he's trying to figure it out. He's a really good player. He's trying to figure it out. But he, neither one of those guys is scared. Uh, but, and then James. James. James is a tough SOB, man. He's a winner. And, uh, it, it, all it took me was being around him for two days to, to realize that he was going to help our team in tremendous ways. But you mentioned the growth with, with this team, being able to make in-game adjustments mm -hmm. you know, compared to a game like Coastal. What was kind of your sense with, the, I guess, the character of this team? Did, did it seem like they felt like they were still in it, still confident, even early? It didn't seem like they got rattled with the way they, they came back. Just kind of what are your impressions there? Yeah, but, I thought offensively, we, we just missed shots early. We got some opportunities. We got converted. You can't win these kind of games if you don't put the ball in the basket. Uh, where I was not very pleased with, with with our team was our defensive mindset. We we were trying really hard, but we we're not playing really smart defensively. Um, um, but it's it's uh, um, I, I, these guys are just fun to be around, you know. And you know, that, like when I was talking about the growth, like, we were bad at coaching. We were bad leading into the game. We were bad during the game. We could have the only way you could have adjusted that game is if we'd have traded the whole team at halftime. I don't do that. You know, it's who we got. We took that lump together as one. We didn't come in the next day. See, I'm not into blaming. When you start blaming, you create a division. You know, I'm into uh, responsibilities. And 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 when people start holding each other accountable for what they're responsible. It brings everybody together, and, and that's the way I try to do business, and that's the way these guys are. They're fun. It's uh, there was no blame that day. I was talking more like the Princeton game. Uh, you know, even Western Kentucky. I think we had like 25 turnovers or something that game. You know, they played a similar switching defense, and it created problems for us. We've we've grown from that day. Um, but these kids got a lot of courage, and, and I can't say enough about Florida State. Uh, you know, uh, for Leonard to take the game uh, to come here to to give us an opportunity to play uh, an elite level program, to be supportive of this event, the, the great people that have put this building in place and put this event together. Uh, I can't thank Leonard enough for, for signing up and being a part of this.